when we call upon him he hears us he likes the condition of a weary soul if the hunger and the test is directed to him he gladdens himself and out of his excesses out of his bounty he makes grace available you will find grace tonight in the name of Jesus there's a long study that I want to begin today I tried to make it systematic I failed many times until I decided not to write I, I just left I pray it will make meaning to you I pray in the name of Jesus Christ Amen You know we read yesterday The Bible says love not the world Not the things of the world For if any man loves the world The love of the Father Is not in him And there's a contrast that I would like us to see here. It's either that the love of the world reigns supreme in your life and administers authority upon your heart and soul. Or that the love of God has saturated you and by the same love of God you are constrained to do the will of God. Did you, did you get me? It's either that the world has gained mastery over your heart and it has preoccupied you and if this kind of mastery is gained over your heart it doesn't matter whether you speak in tongues or prophesy but all of your strength all of your circuits in your everyday is ordained and conditioned by reason of that idol in your heart to adorn the kingdom of darkness the best of what you do even if you are a preacher of the gospel and there is that idol upon your heart. It affects your ministry. It affects what you do. The purpose of what you do is affected. The end point of your vision is tilted. And everything you do is as a result of that. Which you have allowed your heart to be seduced by. So it's either that the love of God. Is the one ruling your heart. And determining what you do. Or the love for the world. Or something in the world has gained that mastery over you so as our sister speaks about the world and the love of the world i want to speak about the love of the father which is supposed to be the antidote tablet that we need to function in to be drugged by so that nothing that is in the world will be able to have that authority sufficient to attract us and to give a definition to our lives and to place it a, a price tag upon our name the love of the father the Bible says that when we are, if we are lost in the valley of the wall and we are being attracted and drawn and, and, and compelled and constrained by that which is in the world or that which the world is, then it means that we were able to yield to that level of deception at the expense of our love and our covenant of loyalty to the Father. Amen. I say, Amen. Hallelujah.